Let's take a look at the symbols in Dynascape. Dynascape has multiple libraries of symbols for you to choose from for your designs. Each symbol uses professional proven graphics to give your design that professional looking output. Line weights are built into each symbol to give you that hand-drawn look and feel that Dynascape drawings are known for. Each symbol is drawn to scale, so you don't have to worry about scale when you're inserting them. Let's have a look at some of the different libraries and some of the symbols that are in them. Shrub Libraries has multiple symbols for all different types of shrub sizes and shapes. Perennials are the same. There's lots to choose from, for, uh, from simple shapes to a little bit more complex graphic shapes. Many different tree symbols to choose from, including palms, tropicals, lots of rocks and boulders, natural stone steps and stepping stones, accessories like furniture and rose arbors and cabanas and gazebos. There's also north arrows and scale bars and title blocks to choose from. Pond components consist of pond shapes, stream segments, uh, bridges, water plants, even detail things like fish. 2D symbols to help you create cross sections and perspectives. There's also a lot of woodworking details that include rose arbors, screens and fences, pergolas and garden structures, sheds and cabanas. These are just some of the many symbols that come with Dynascape design. Dynascape also has a unique clustering tool that allows you to group plant symbols together into neat, tidy clusters that make your drawings easier to read and understand. Inserting symbols into a Dynascape drawing is fast and it's easy. All of Dynascape's library figures or symbols are found in the Figures tab. Let's start adding some symbols to this design. I want to add a patio table and chairs to this patio that I've drawn. I'm going to select the 4 foot 6 patio table, left click to drop it down, and there it is drawn to scale. If I chose to rotate it, I'd left click, rotate it, and then drop it down. So I can rotate it to any, to any direction that I like. And that symbol has been drawn to scale, so that's a 4 by 6 patio table if I were to measure that. Let's add a few shrubs, and some trees, and some rocks to this design as well. I'm going to insert a spreading evergreen symbol here. This is a 3 foot 8 evergreen symbol. After I've inserted them, I can tweak them by grabbing the grip that belongs to each symbol and move it around in the right place. I'm going to go to another library. I'll go to my grass or perennials library and throw in a couple of grass symbols. Next, I'm going to add a couple of rocks. Go to my rocks library, grab a rock symbol, place it in, rotate it. I want to place another one beside it, like this. Let's add a few more shrub symbols, and then we're going to add a simple tree symbol, and then cluster, or group the plants together using Dynascape's clustering tool. Last, let's throw in some two-foot perennials. Take the last one out. Go to my tree library, throw in a nine foot multi stem tree symbol, and my planting plan is done. Now, Dynascape's clustering tool that we talked about earlier uh, will allow you to group these plants together and trim out all the overlapping inner segments. All I need to do is select the plant symbols that I want to group together, and Dynascape will trim them out. This gives Dynascape drawings that hand drawn, professional looking output. Let's look at how quickly you can draw ponds with Dynascape Design. Let's go to Dynascape's uh, Aquascape libraries, and we'll find here a number of different pond components for streams, waterfalls, and the ponds themselves that have all been pre-drawn. I'm going to choose an 11 by 17 uh, pond that's already been drawn. It doesn't have a waterfall on it yet, but I can rotate it around in the direction that I want it to go, and I can add some stream components, or I can just add a biofalls at the top here put it in position, tweak it a little bit to make sure it's right. There my pond is drawn. Now I can add some more detail to it. I can insert water plants, things like water lilies, things like pickerel rush, 
and even some umbrella palm like that. To top it off, I can insert some symbols of koi fish into the design as well. There's some pre-drawn fish symbols that you can use. Just drop them in like that. I'll show you a little more detail by zooming in a little bit. You can impress your clients very easily by the amount of detail that you've added to your design. So there's my pond drawn completely in a matter of seconds.